So you're a little bit happier, aren't you, the day you're leaving? Mm. Yeah, oh, don't worry, I'm, um, I'm still terrified, but I'm, I'm excited too. Oh, good, finally, you took your time. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, I know it's probably going to sound silly, but I, I just feel like there's something out there for me, something good. Sal, the whole world is out there waiting for you. And it's not going to be good, it's going to be brilliant, amazing. And I'm going to be here to look after and wreck Matilda, don't worry about it. Now, what about Mr Stewart and Colleen and Leah? They're big people, I'm sure that they can take care of themselves. But I will be here to take care of the house. I know how much it means to you. Well, that brings me to something I've been meaning to do. <gasps> what is this? It's uh, my gift to you. You didn't have to do this, Sal. Well, I wanted to. This house has so many memories for me, and it has a future, too. That future's with you. I was going to take care of the house anyway. You didn't want to sign half of it over to me. Yeah, well, I, I wanted to. I'm, you're part of my life now. You always will be. Well, I'm committed to this house and everything that comes with it. I think that's um, part of the reason what's given me the, the strength to go through with this. You gave me back my life, you know that, don't you? I think maybe you gave me back mine. <laughs> myself that uh, even though we were apart for such a long time you're always there you you're always with me that's never gonna change you know that um Cassie and I are going to Phuket yeah well I'm um, I'm gonna go and stand on the beach and I'm gonna think about you and I'm gonna say a prayer for your wife and for you Luke I wish I could have met them. I did too. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I have my camera and I'd like to record this moment for posterity. Oh, I'm <laughs> getting the timing. Now my mascara <laughs> has run. No. You ready? It's very boring. Hang on, take another oh, one. I'll take another one. Okay, for maybe from over here. Close your eyes, Sal. You'll see it, you'll hear it, no matter where you are in the world, I promise. I hope 
hope so, Mr. Stewart. I'm not proud of myself, Sal. I know, I know you've been staying away. But I understand. And you know what? You've probably made things a little bit easier for me because I haven't had to try and avoid you for exactly the same reason. This has been my home for such a long time. Everything good that's ever happened to me, all of it, it's happened right here. I met the love of my life here. Flynn and I, we, we had a home here. Do you know how many times we walked up and down this beach together? Well, you know he's going to be right there with you, cheering you on, no matter where you are in the world. Yeah, I know. I still remember the day you arrived in the bay like it was yesterday. Cute little rat bag you were too. And every day since, I've watched you grow a little bit taller, a little bit wiser. And I've got to say, Sal, I couldn't be more proud of you if you were my own. Thank you. I'm going to miss you the most, Mr. Stewart. Do us a favour, will you? Call me Elf just this once. Mr. Stewart to me off. 